Fall League on EA Sports, where we'll see two of the NFL's oldest and most storied franchises. It's the Washington Commanders and the Arizona Cardinals, and it's coming up next. We find ourselves at the home of the world's first retractable natural grass field as you get a look inside State Farm Stadium in Glendale. Here's the former Sooner, Austin Seibert, to get this one started. And off we go on EA Sports. And he takes this near the 25, just a little pass there, call it the 26. The Cardinals offense heading out, and they do so behind Kyler Murray, their dynamic quarterback in his sixth season now from Oklahoma. And now that he's back at full health, they're expecting Kyler to get back to being the superstar playmaker that they drafted. Make no mistake about it, when he's fully healthy, there aren't many quarterbacks who are as dynamic as he is. And if he's able to stay on the field, this team has a real chance to make some noise. First carry for James Conner. That's to about the 28, second down coming up. Oh, that's a real nice job there by the defensive front. They just engaged and held their ground. But how about the guy who made the play? We often talk about whether they take a good first step or not. Many times, you just don't take any step. Just get your feet moving, get your body going. And then once he made the read, he was able to make the play. Connor going to get it again on second down. And he'll be taken down, but not before they reach the 50. That good for 22 and a first down. Okay, let's do our version of name dropping here. Let's show off a little knowledge, right? The A gap, the gap between the center and the guard on either side, right? Both sides. Control that, you're going to control an inside running game. And he had to feel satisfied because he hit that gap, broke the contact. He loves that. That's the best part, right? That's what he's going to ask the coach to run back on, on film Let review. Let me see that one more time. Show that again, coach. Look how my legs kept turning. I just kept moving, and he did to the tune of a big game. With his size, he's a tough man to bring down, but they do a nice job there stopping his progress and not allowing him to get back to the line of scrimmage. So after the loss of a yard, they'll look to push forward here on second down and 11. They stay on the ground. Here's Connor again. And he's got it across the midfield, striping into Washington territory. On a second and long, it's really nice to see an offense that has enough confidence to run the football in that situation. I think that goes back to their practice and game planning. They've seen things that they've seen on tape and in previous games that led them to believe that even in a long distance situation, they can still run the football and gain enough yardage to put themselves in a good spot on third down. Stays on his feet. Yeah, he's gonna be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. A gain of 10, first down Arizona. And as you're game planning as a staff, you go through all the different ways you can neutralize the other guys' pass rushers. Extra linemen, leave a tight end in, bring the running backs back in to block. Or you can do this, a little simple screen pass, and it works to perfection. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. to throw, it's Murray. Finding his target, it's Trey McBride. And this will go as a gain of seven as he gets it to the 30-yard line. And there wasn't much room for the big tight end to do much after the catch. But at least he was able to pick up a solid gain to help his offense continue to move in the right direction. Ball on the 30 now, here's second and three. 
from the gun, Murray. He completes it to Wilson. And this won't be enough to pick up the first. A gain of two, third and one. He decided to run a hitch route. It really helps to have a guy who can turn it loose. And boy, he rifled one in there on that one. Not much run after catch, but it worked really well. This will be play number eight here on the drive. It's third and a yard. Now Murray again. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he is going to have a Cardinals first down as they're able to convert by plenty there on third and one. Well, they clearly wanted to come out, Charles, and be aggressive throwing the football, and they've been pretty efficient along with that aggressiveness. He's now 4-4 four four on this opening drive. Yeah, and that's led to a fresh set of downs. I like what he's doing back there. You can tell he's at ease, feels good about what he's doing. I think if I'm the play caller, I'm reading that, I'm continuing to let him throw the football. And he's got four down inside the 20 to the 18. And hold on here, because on that last run, it looks like we have a player who was shaken up. But the medical staff is going to come out here and take a look, and we will take a short break. Second down and six now. Again, a run with Connor. And he is swallowed up right at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play, and it's going to bring up a third down. As usual, the hallmark of a good run defense, linebackers making plays near the line of scrimmage. Absolutely nowhere to run there. It's been a pretty long opening drive. This will be play number 11 coming up on third down. Murray now to throw. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. So two third down conversions on this drive, but not able to get a third, and now they deal with fourth down. <laughs> Whether that's a little grabbing, a little hand fighting, by any means necessary on third down, he was able to get the job done in the secondary and swat that one away. Prater's kick is good, and the Cardinals have the first points. It's 3-0. Even though they didn't find the end zone, they have to be pretty pleased with how they move the ball on the ground because we know that that was one of their big goals in this game. And that really goes through the entire offense because when you're running the ball effectively, just about everyone's involved. It's not just the guy carrying the football. It's everyone blocking for him both inside and on the perimeter. Prater now will send it away following the made field goal. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get this up to the 29. So the commanders make their way out on offense for the first time here. And it's the rookie Jaden Daniels, the number two overall pick leading the way. And he was the number two overall pick in the draft because he is special. A dual threat athlete at the quarterback position beat you with his arm and his legs and runs the ball better than any quarterback since maybe Lamar Jackson came out of Louisville. But with that being said, he's got to be smart about how he runs the football. He puts himself in position to take some big shots. He's got to be on the field and available for him and his team to be successful. Now Daniels. That's complete. Terry McLaurin with it. And he's going to be out up around the 45-yard line. That play going for 16 yards to start the drive, first down. Now how about this throw right here? Had to throw it to the left sideline, and you know the timing's got to be correct on this one. Ball's got to be right where it needs to be, and it was. That's because he had great arm strength on that one, able to drive the football. Quarterbacks love it when they can show off their arms. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. It's another first down as they bite off 23 more on that one. That may be a sneak peek on this opening drive of what this young rookie can showcase, his legs. And normally, as you start a game, you're just thinking, can he get the snap? Can he hand off? Can he just execute? Instead, he doesn't waste any time on wrapping another dimension to his game, showing off those wheels, and picking up some nice yardage. And now look at this. Big gain, but a fumble. Oh, and one of the linebackers has got it. Well, he's going to have to shake out the cobwebs. First time he touches the football, and he drops it on the ground. 
so many times we talk about quarterbacks and taking care of them early to get them in the flow with safe throws, right? But with a runner, there is no such thing as a safe run, right? <laughs> right out of the gate, you're going to be a, you're going to be in some traffic. Got to take care of the ball, and he didn't do that. So the Cardinals offense back onto the field here for their second drive of the game. They'll take over deep in their own end after the fumble recovery as they start first and ten. And now, as with every potential turnover, they're going to take a second look at this just to make sure. Now, the question, was the knee, in fact, down before this ball comes loose? And is the video convincing enough to overturn it? A lot of factors here. Remember, you also need clear possession of the football afterwards. This is a tough one to overturn. So that one overturned. They say the knee was down, and that will not be ruled a fumble. Running on first down, Eckler. And a minuscule gain of maybe a yard from the six to the five. That run didn't get very far, and I think when you're looking at his dimensions, he's a little bit on the smaller side. He's counting on the big guys up front to escort him in, and they couldn't create any kind of space for him, could they? Yeah, didn't get the push they needed. And the ball smack dab on the five-yard line. Here's second and goal. Once more, here's Eckler. And he'll get this one back to the five-yard line, but no further than that. It'll go as no gain on the play, and now they're looking at a third and goal. I don't know about you, Brandon, but I often think to myself, in these situations, I want a back who can create his own space, who can break tackles, and in a sense, become his own blocker. We don't have that guy in the game right now. They'll look to throw on third and goal. Oh, this will be incomplete. The rush gets home just as he was letting that go. That could have been worse. Instead, it's fourth down. Great defense there on third and goal. They took away everything. Forced him to fire that one to the sideline where no one could get it. Austin Seibert sets up for the field goal try. From the right hash, and this one just a chippy. Seibert able to knock this one through, and that will tie us at 3-3. So a return of serve, so to speak, here on the second drive of our game as they respond to that opening field goal with three of their own. I like that. Going a little tennis on well, me, I huh? know you. You like to mix it up I with like sports. That. They, yeah. crack, they crack a forehand back out and they get a backhand. What was the serve? It, what was the return on? It was a backhand. I and like a that really one. good backhand. With some nice top spin on the a little bit. Thing. A little I bit. love it. Yeah. Almost a mirror image when you really get down to it. I thought that was pretty good stuff. Each team with a possession, each team with a field goal as the kick is away. And that's pretty good coverage by the kick team. As he'll only be able to get this past the 15-yard line and no further. So the Cardinals offense back onto the field here for their second drive of the game. And after the field goal last time, we'll see what they can get here. At least they got points out of the last drive, Charles. I never met an offensive coach that didn't want a drive to end with a kick. <laughs> Most of them wanted to end with a PAT, right? In this case, a field goal, they'll take it way better than the alternative, which is a punt. Yeah, but you met fan bases that wanted that, <laughs> that weren't happy with that field goal. <laughs> I haven't met a fan base yet that wants a drive to end with a kick <laughs> other than the extra point. That's it. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. They have three tight ends in that formation. That's almost a universal sign that they're planning to run the football. But how about the defense there? They met force with force and caused a stack up behind the line of scrimmage and threw him for a loss. Throwing now is Murray. And his pass incomplete. Had an open man that time, but ended up putting a little too much heat on it, don't you think, partner? Absolutely. Just needed a touch more air under it. Instead, he fired an absolute bullet. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Now Murray. He's got his tight end McBride on the out route. 
And he goes out of bounds just shy of the 45. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. Kind of a dangerous throw there. He's off balance when he gets rid of it. But this is all about a quarterback knowing what he can get away with. And that time, it turns into a completion and a healthy gain as well. On first and 10 is Connor. And he'll manage to pick up about four. It's second down. And that was a quality play to start a new set of downs. That was simply an offensive line winning the battle up front and winning in a big way and giving their guy in the backfield a nice lane to hit. From the 48-yard line, here's the second down and six. They'll stay on the ground with Connor again. And he'll lose yardage here. Back at the 47. A loss on that play, and now third down gets tougher. Third and six. That was a good illustration of setting the edge as a defensive end, being able to make sure that you stay on your feet no matter what type of block, and you're not going to get pushed inside. Stayed home, skated to the outside, and made the play. From the gun on third down, Murray. He'll find his rookie wideout from Ohio State here. And he is going to have a Cardinals first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. His first catch, good for nine and a first down. These two teams all tied after one. Back in Arizona, second quarter action. It's the Cardinals in possession as they've got it with a first and 10. They fake the handoff. Now Murray got his man. It's Dorch. And past the 35, he'll be dropped a yard or two shy of the 30. The Cardinal passing game dialed in now. First down. And that play came together really well for them as he found open space, makes the catch, and gets down to the one-yard line. You know he's kicking himself right now. He thought he had a chance to get a touchdown and put that in his ledger. Instead, his team gets a chance to cash in over these next few plays. Now, that's staying ahead of the chains. Really good pickup on first down, hitting the tight end there. Now it brings up a second and manageable. Just found a hole in that zone. From the 23, here's second down and two. To throw is Murray. Caught. It's Wilson. And they keep those sticks moving forward that time with a gain of three. And the throw and the catch were just fine. But against zone coverage, when you run a drag route, what you're hoping for is he makes the catch and makes someone miss, and they don't there. Very difficult route to run when everyone has their eyes back towards the quarterback and they're able to see the route develop. Here's Murray. Touchdown, Arizona. Kyler Murray, a 21-yard touchdown run. And the Cardinals have taken the lead. And maybe the defense got so caught up in him throwing the football, they forgot he can take off, too. And you often hear about the quarterback being the unaccounted for guy as a runner. Well, even on a passing play, he's unaccounted for as a runner, and he turned it into a nice gain. A very nice run, and it turns in to six points. Now Matt Prater for the point after. And it is up. And it's good. That'll make our score 10 to 3 now. So that one a pretty time-consuming 10-play drive. And the play that polished it off was the touchdown run by Kyler Murray. After the touchdown, out is Prater to kick. And 
And the tackle going to be made right there at the 25-yard line. The commander's going to retake the field for drive number two. Just a lone field goal for them so far, trailing 10-3 as they come up first and 10. Throwing now is Daniels. This to McLaurin out on the left side. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. Nice way to start the drive, a gain of 12 and a first down. I tell you what, when you're down on the scoreboard, you've got to look to your stars, and that's what they do here to start the drive. I wouldn't be surprised if they looked his way a few more times in short order. That one, well designed, and it's a quick first down. Daniels looking to throw. And he slides and covers up at the end as he's going to be able to pick up decent yardage. The improv on the scramble there gets him six, and it'll be second down. Certainly not the way they drew it up in the playbook, but that's why they love this guy back there. He sees things breaking down, and he's more than capable of finding an escape route and still getting a decent game. Off the play fake, Daniels. And his throw is incomplete. That was well played, but that was also an example of a corner who understands his coverage, realized he had support behind him, and could be a little more aggressive in the shorter zone, and did exactly that, knocking that pass away. Now they face a third down and four after that incompletion on second down. To throw is Daniels. That is caught, and he'll be corralled out across midfield down to the 45. 12 yards there as they keep this drive rolling. It's another first down. I don't care how many times we see it. I still get a kick out of watching quarterbacks and receivers do the pass tree in pregame warm-up. But I always remember that when we go to practices, we see that after practices as well. They really tune it up, don't they? They tune it up. They know why they do it for these situations. First down. And they build that trust, and that's why they're able to find him in this type of a situation. Looking left sideline, incomplete. Well, they've been back on their heels a little bit here on this drive, but a chance to exhale just a little bit there with incompletion on first down. Now they have to gear up, try and get two more stops, and escape this drive. Now a second and ten. Eckler now between the tackles. And this winds up a gain of four to the 41. That second down play call was not to pick up the first down. It was to accomplish what they did to get them into a manageable third down because they had incompletion on first down, so they were behind the sticks, so to speak. They needed to make up some ground, and they did. Seventh play of the drive upcoming here on third and six. Here's Daniels. He's got his target. That's complete. And down he goes, taking it inside the 10, just shy of the five at the six. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. They made that way too easy for them. No one is supposed to be that open against an NFL defense. Once he caught the ball, there wasn't anybody close enough to stop him, and he was able to continue downfield after making the catch. Now a chance to make that big play really hurt. It's first and goal just outside the five. They'll run out of the gun with Eckler. And he is into the end zone for a Washington touchdown. Austin Eckler, a six-yard touchdown run. And the Commanders are an extra point away from evening this one up. Two good drives on their first two possessions. Remember, the first wound up in a field goal, but we all know field goals aren't going to cut it in the NFL. So they're not going to be denied here, and they wind up punching this one into the end zone. Austin Seibert on for the extra point. And he'll put it through, and that evens us up at 10 apiece. So that one, an eight-play drive. It spans 75 yards. And it's Austin Eckler who finishes things off with a touchdown run. Oh. 
All level now at 10 apiece as the kick's away. The lane opens here. He's past the 30. Here's the Arizona offense now as they get set to take over. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out. Looking to repeat that in Charles's defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. The drive will start with Connor. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here. And what I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while. Get at least two first downs. Give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. From the 35, here's a second and seven. Again, it's Connor. And he'll push forward to the 37, gain of two. I know the speed is the hallmark of today's NFL game, but the key to good rushing defense is still having your linebackers set the edge. The offense on third down, they've been near perfect. Four for five to this point. This is third and four. Murray going to throw. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he is going to have a Cardinals first down by about a yard. It's a gain of five on third and four. And the tight end is certainly a position built to move the chains because they can control space underneath. If they've got good hands, then, of course, they're a dynamic target. But one other thing is they're right in the sight lines of a quarterback on just about every play. And that makes it easier for the quarterback to pick him out and deliver. And Murray in trouble here, and down he goes. Dorrance Armstrong. It'll go as a loss of about eight as he gets in there to drop him. And every game we talk about what are going to be the keys as we go into it. Maybe that's a key for their defense today. Pressure the quarterback and make sure you play a good zone defense behind them, and they get their first sack of the contest. So that complicates things a bit here. 18 yards to go now on second down. Here's Murray. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Wilson. Give him a gain of five on the completion. And they'll be facing a third and 12. All tied up at 10. Two minutes left in the first half. Third and 12. Here's Murray as he sets to throw it. Over the middle complete. It's Connor. And Washington now going to use the first of their three timeouts. So as they talk it over, we step aside. Blake Gillikin on to punt now on fourth down. Back deep here, Jamison Crowder. And he gets it away, a directional kick going toward the sideline. And no return here. Where will they spot it? They say just outside the 20-yard line. And the Washington offense heading out. And they'll just simply be looking to build off the confidence of the last time out where they scored a touchdown. And confidence is powerful, isn't it? When you've scored once, you feel like you can go back out there and get it done again. Doesn't matter what the defense throws at them. They feel like they're in a groove right now, and they want to get out there and show it. Yeah, hoping to stay in that groove here this go around. To the air goes Daniels. And complete to Zach Ertz. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. A gain of 11 to kick off the drive, and it's a quick first down. And one thing we certainly know about Zach Ertz, a high-caliber tight end, still can produce in this league, and if he stays on the field, he'll certainly prove it. Working out of the gun, Daniels. It's brought in by Jamison Crowder. 
And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Ten yards there, good for a Washington first down. I think that's a big pickup for a first down because when you run a drag route against zone, you're sometimes asking for trouble because you might run into a defender. Yeah, well, there they ran into a first down, executed it to perfection. And he'll protect himself at the end here as he winds up getting pretty decent yardage. The commander is going to use the second of their timeouts as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. Second down and a little more than a yard here. Back to throw. Daniels. Throw left side. McCaffrey's got it. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Cardinals 36. 12 yards that time for number 12 as they move the chains. Good strong throw and catch right there. And so far in this game, the alleys have been open for them to get completions, and they're taking advantage of it. Back to throw now on first down. Out route looking for McClellan. He's got him. Now Washington going to go ahead and use their final timeout as they stop it with 28 seconds to go in the first half of play. A good down to possibly take a shot, and in fact, they'll come up with an empty backfield on second and inches. Now Daniels. Got a man, it's Brown. He's got his first catch here before halftime, and it goes for a first down. Good throw, good catch, but I really like the route. The drag and being able to run away from defenders, hard to stick with them for that long. Yeah, better against man than zone, or... Better against man, because now you're running away from someone, and you're not running into a defensive player in another zone. Oh, he's going to be brought down there in the field of play. And the clock will run, no timeouts. They will not have the chance to bring out the field goal unit. We thought this one would be a close battle coming in, and we have not been disappointed. They're all even to this point. This has the feeling of a game that could go right down to the wire. One mistake or one big play could turn out to be the difference. Okay, Coach, thanks as always. This one's still anyone's game as we welcome you back for quarter number three. And ready to get the party started for the second half. It was an even first half, all tied on the scoreboard. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. The Washington offense ready to go to begin the third quarter. It's a tie football game here. What do you think, Charles, the message was at halftime? Well, I think that they probably just looked at things and said, we're fortunate that this is a tie game. No need to panic. No need to change a whole lot. We didn't play anything close to our best in the first half, so we don't have to go out and win one for the Gipper. Let's just go out and play our best football and win one for us. They started on the ground with Eckler. A short game here, maybe a yard to the 29. Well, give them credit for trying, but there's no fooling the defense with that call. They were reading run, and they set up to stop the run and then execute it. Here's a second and nine now from the 29. Out of the gun, they'll look to throw. And that almost their first INT of the ball game. Had his sights on it, but he couldn't seal the deal. Well, this at least is the right idea. I think they've got to get the tight end more involved. He had just one target in the first half, incomplete. Now incomplete here with the first target in the second half. Yeah, should not stop them at all from going back to him, though. Find him. Find him. From the shotgun, it's Daniels. 
Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. Great way to convert on third down there. 21 yards the play. And that's the kind of play this offense needs to maybe kick them into gear a little bit. They've been stuck in neutral much of the game. Perhaps that can give them a little bit of confidence that big plays are out there. On first down, he'll drop to throw. A quick throw there is incomplete. I think he's got to be careful not to force anything into coverage right there. There weren't really any throwing lanes, but the best part for him, he's got second and third down to fall back on. Second and ten. Play action, now it's Daniels. Caught by the tight end Ertz. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Cardinals' 34-yard line. A new set of downs after a strong pickup of 16 yards. But give them credit for a good read right there because they read the man coverage on the right side and sent the tight end a few steps down the field and then angled him to the left on a crossing route. And he was able to get enough separation on this play to turn it into a nice game. And he'll follow his blockers there all the way down to the 23-yard line. They get 10 more there, and I believe that'll be enough for another first down at will. Interior of that line blocked really well on that run, but also the two tight ends, they blocked well too. Not only have they scouted the line of scrimmage, with their agility, they can get upfield and hit moving targets like linebackers, defensive backs. They do a really good job helping out the running game. That's caught by Senate. And he's able to break out a one tackle, but then quickly brought down. So five yards here, five on the play. And that's going to bring up second down. So much goes into a successful play, doesn't it? How about that play action there? Freezing the defense just enough to bring the tight end free downfield for the completion. Operating from the gun, Daniels. And that almost their first INT of the ball game. Had his sights on it, but he couldn't seal the deal. And I think he was a little surprised to see the ball sitting out there like that. That's a ball he had a chance to come away with, but it winds up an incomplete pass. They'll break the huddle and come up on the ninth play of this drive, needing five yards on third down. Looking to throw. Daniels work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he's going to have a commander's first down by about a yard as they find a way to convert there on third down and five. Well, field goal gets you the lead, and they're in range, but they're not looking to settle for three. They're thinking six. That's a nice throw there on third down to keep the chains moving. They'll look to throw again. That's caught. It's McCaffrey again. And so close, he gets it to the one. Out of bounds right there. Another catch for him there. This one good for 11. First down. And I'll tell you what, this offense is playing a little bit of keep away right now. They've come out here in the third quarter, possessed the ball for quite a while, and they keep on converting. Nice pitch and catch there to set up the first and goal. Now they'll bring one of their tight ends in motion right. Eckler is in. Touchdown, Commanders. Uh, he's given him a little jolt, just gave him the lead there, but two TDs now in the game. And that jolt puts them in the lead. What a terrific job by him. He is carrying the ball and simply saying, I want to win. And now he's hoping his defense has that mentality as they try to hang on to that lead. Cybert on for the PAT. He's got it as they go up by a total of 17 to 10. A pretty long drive that time. 11 plays all told. And it's Austin Eckler who finishes things off with a touchdown run.
Following the touchdown, here's Seibert now to kick it off. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. The Cardinals offense now ready to get their first opportunity here in the second half. And this game was all square at halftime, but now they find themselves down seven following the opening drive touchdown here in the third quarter. And they need to take a good, relaxing, deep breath, don't you think? Because right now they might start to feel like they've got to play catch up here and start matching them point for point, but it's still too early to get there. They can still run their offense, plenty of time to get back in this game. Here's Murray. That pass completed to Dorch. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. First play of the drive going for 14 and a first down. And it's pretty evident that this passing game has been frustrated so far. They haven't really moved the ball the way we might have expected, but this is a good pickup here for the first down. Out of the gun, here's Murray. He's going to loft this one deep left sideline. And that's going to be too high. Out of bounds and incomplete. I'm sure this isn't a novel thought, but maybe run some simpler routes instead of trying to get it all back in one shot. Defense certainly appears to be ready for him. Try and get it back little by little instead of in big chunks. Here's second and ten. Murray now to throw. And the Washington pressure gets to him. He will go down. Multiple players getting home there for an eight-yard loss. So one quick, easy analysis about why they've struggled so far. They keep putting themselves in third and long situations. They just took another sack right there. And the offensive film session tomorrow may be a little longer than it normally <laughs> is. Not a lot of positive grades will be handed out thus far. Well, that last sack puts Murray and the cards in a tough spot. Third and long. Now back to throw. Big yardage there on the scramble. It gets him a first down. After the sack, you could understand it maybe be a little bit nervous back there, a little skittish, but he looked awfully decisive when he took off and ran. Very decisive and picked up that first down in the process. In Washington territory now. Here's first and 10, down at the 33. Murray a give. This is Connor. And not much running room. Down to the 32. Dante Fowler in on the stop. Oh, there's plenty of traffic waiting for him up the middle. But give him credit, he tried barreling through anyway. They're fortunate to get a yard out of that one. From the 32-yard line now, here's second and nine. To throw, it's Murray. He's got McBride here over the middle. And they're going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at Washington's 19. That one goes for 13 yards, and it moves the sticks. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. Now Murray. He'll get that complete to Harrison. And the Cardinals are going to be set up with a first and goal on a pass play that moves them all the way down to the one. It's all pretty simple sometimes, isn't it? Go where the defenders are not. And he does exactly that. Makes a nice catch to move the chains. Defense, got to find a better way of accounting for the shorter routes that are being run against them. To throw is Murray. He's got his man. It's caught in the end zone. Touchdown, Arizona. Tip Ryman. There to make the grab. And the Cardinals are an extra point away now from tying this ball game. So a strong drive here to lead off this third quarter. That has them an extra point away from tying things up. And partner, this is pretty much what they envisioned when they were sitting there in the locker room thinking about getting things going to start here in the third quarter. 
getting out there, a field goal would have been fine. But going ahead and scoring here, an extra point away from tying things up, that's exactly how they drew it up on the board. Prater for the extra point, and that will level the playing field at 17 all. So that drive goes eight plays, and it winds up at a touchdown for Arizona. So a tie ball game here as the kick's away. And makes it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. So out comes Washington's offense to take over. And their lead has evaporated in this third quarter. It's tied once more as they begin with a first and 10. Here's Daniels. Oh, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. Jalen Thompson picks it, and they will score. It's a pick six for the Cardinals' touchdown. An excellent play there, CD, on the pick six. And I think they, were they a nickel? Did they have an extra DB out there? Yeah, Brandon, I think they were in standard nickel, not the uh, Buffalo, as teams like to call it, meaning three safeties for big nickel. They just wanted to take away the quarterback's throwing lanes, and that's exactly what they did and came through with a big-time pick six. Prater on to add the extra point. And they will take a seven-point lead now. A heck of a play there defensively, getting the interception, navigating his way into the end zone for the touchdown. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. Muscles by at the 25. And up to about the 26-yard line just across the 25. Out comes Washington's offense as they get set to take over here. Now remember, they were just out here a moment ago through the pick six, so we'll see if they can take better care of the football this go-around. And sometimes, partner, I think it's almost better that you just throw the pick six and you come right back out on the field. You're not over on the sidelines dwelling for it for very long. You're not hearing everyone say, oh, hey, you'll get them next time. Hey, don't worry about it. All that stuff just goes right out the window. You're right back out on the field with a chance to atone. This will be caught by Brown. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. That's a good way to start the drive. 17 yards and a first down. Certainly no settling into the drive there. They came right out on the first play and attacked the middle of the field for a big gainer and a first down. One play has him up past the 40 already and another first and 10. And this is caught. It's Brown. And he's going to get this down to the 35-yard line. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. That connection seemed to work out okay on the first play of the drive. Why not go right back to it? And once again, this defense is left without an answer as they surrender back-to-back -back first downs. Under a minute to go in this third quarter as they come up first and 10. Up the middle with Eckler. And he is going to lose yardage here. 
Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. An interesting and intriguing decision there defensively because they kept extra DBs on the field despite seeing the multiple tight end look that came out for the offense. I thought they were going to switch out of it. I didn't know if they felt they didn't have time or what the case was. Well, in any event, the extra speed allowed for great penetration as they stuffed that one behind the line of scrimmage. So give him two yards there on the completion, and that's going to set up a tough third and nine. Well, if you do read man coverage, Brandon, the drag route's a pretty good one to run against it because you're running away from people on it. So they'll get a little extra time to come up with his third down play as we've played three quarters. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. Welcome back to the desert. We're in Glendale. It's Washington with a football, but trailing here as we begin quarter number four. To the air goes Daniels. He's got his target. That's complete. And he doesn't quite make it, taking it within an eyelash. Dropped at the one. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. And the offense is saying to itself right now, if only they were all this easy because he was wide open. And once he made the catch, plenty of room to work his way downfield. That was a breakdown on the defensive side of the ball, one that they want to fix immediately. A looming decision to make on the conversion down seven, but first things first, they need to score as they come up. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Washington. A touchdown run there from a yard out. And the Commanders are an extra point away from tying this game here on the fourth. And we are set up for a fantastic finish now. A fourth quarter touchdown here. We're an extra point away from a tie football game. And I know they're thinking about possibly going for two, but I'd go ahead and kick this one and just get it back to level. Here's Cybert now to add the extra point. And we are tied here in the fourth quarter. A drive that time of six plays. And it's Austin Eckler who finishes things off with a touchdown run. Now this one setting up for a great finish. All tied in the fourth as the kick's away. Oh, a good-looking return set up here. And they finally get to him out near midfield, but he's all the way across the 45 to the 46. The Cardinals offense ready to set up shop. And they no longer have the lead after that last touchdown. All tied up in the fourth quarter. And a chance for this offense to mount a potential game-winning drive right here. Well, so much for the worry about how they would be after losing their lead. What a big-time return to seize the momentum back. They've got good starting field position as they come up here first and 10 at their own 46. They start the drive with Connor. And some solid footwork there as he'll take this down to about the 38. 55 yards rushing for him now as he's carried it 13 times. Connor picks up a new set of downs in a nice fashion, too. He's coming off his best season as a pro after he topped the 1,000-yard mark for the first time in his career a season ago. Right back to Connor here on first. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. No gain on the play there. Second down. You don't see that a ton, do you? The cornerback coming over to the middle of the field to make a run tackle. That's someone with a ton of confidence to feel like nothing is pressuring him on his side of the field. Sees that the ball's moved to the middle and just sprints over there to help out. He ends up getting the tackle. Well played. It'll be a gain of five, and it's third and four now. The completion was given up, but that's why you play zone defense, so that you can have people around the ball when it's caught, and you don't give up much run after the catch. 
A field goal try would be almost 50 yards from this spot. So what can they do to get closer now on third down? Here's Murray as he sets to throw it. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Connor. And he is going to have a Cardinals first down by about a yard. It's a gain of five on third and four. But they certainly had success throughout this contest, getting him the ball in the passing game, and there he picks up another first down. Whatever they saw going into this one, they've been able to capitalize on it, and no adjustment has been made to take it away. Murray going to throw. And this ball incomplete. Uh, looked very much to be a catchable ball and could not hang on. Second down coming up. Uh, that's some good closing speed there defensively because that looked open for a minute. But that's great work with the ball in the air. Never gave up. Converged on his man and broke the play up. On play action, it's Murray. And that went to the right side and incomplete. Had the right idea there, trying to throw it to the sideline, but he led him just a little bit too much trying to get it out to his receiver. Ends up falling to the ground incomplete. From here, it would be a 45-yard field goal attempt, certainly in range, but they'll look for more yardage on third down. From the gun, a give to Connor. And they'll get him down two yards shy after a pickup of eight. Fourth and two. Got to kick it, right? I mean, even the short yardage, you, you boot this thing, don't you? Yeah, but I know how aggressive you are. I know what you want. You want to go for it, don't you? You're feeling it, aren't you? Yeah, but treat it like a football game, not like Madden. I like that. Fight the temptation. Kick the field goal. Because if you go for it and don't get it, you put a lot on your defense in a short amount of time. So here comes the veteran Matt Prater in a big spot in this ball game. This to break our fourth quarter tie. Prater's kick is good. And they have taken the lead here in the fourth quarter. So the drive here ends with a field goal. It does give them the lead, but this one's still certainly a long ways from over. It definitely puts a lot of pressure on your defense to hold the lead, right? They're happy to have it and happy to be out there trying to do so. But I know as a former player, in the back of their mind, they're thinking, why don't you score the touchdown and seal this thing? Prater now will send it away following the made field goal. And they'll get him down inside the 30 at the 27. The commander's offense and running back Austin Eckler set to take over once more. And as we take a look at some of the highlights, we see just how impactful he's been. He and his quarterback have such a great chemistry together, and it's been on full display throughout the contest. Out there, set and ready for this next drive, the Washington offense. And now they find themselves trailing following the field goal. Still a good amount of time in this fourth quarter, but this drive very well could determine the outcome of this ball game. 16 yards right off the bat and a first down. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as... I can do it, so it's not that big of a deal to me, and I'm going to keep firing. Out of the gun, Eckler running it. And he'll be taken down just shy of midfield. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. I think we all suspected that they were going back to him after he found the end zone on his last carry, and they kept the positive momentum going there. Another nice run by him. From just shy of midfield, here's a second down and four. Daniels looking to throw. Over the middle here to Brown. And he's going to be touched down, but he's got the first down. Yeah. 
So into Cardinal territory now. It's first and 10 at the 46. This is a counter play. Eckler. And he's going to be swallowed up as he got forward for maybe a yard, and it's second down. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. They work now on second and nine. The slot man in motion right. Throwing now is Daniels. Looking for McLaurin, and he's got him. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Cardinals' 33. They give him 13 yards there on the play and a fresh set of downs. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. From the shotgun, it's Daniels. Looking for the out route, and he's got it. It's complete to McCaffrey. And with that last play, he's now up over that 300-yard mark. And in today's NFL, it almost feels routine. And I hate that when you talk about a 300-yard passing game. To me, 300 yards still signifies excellence, and he's achieved that in this performance. They go back to the ground now with Eckler. And some determined running there as he'll pick his way down to the 12-yard line. 40 yards for him on the ground now and three touchdowns to go along with it. This has been an up-and-down, back-and-forth type of a game, hasn't it? Maybe this long drive take a little bit of the wind out of their sails, kind of settle things down a little bit. From down at the 12, it's first and 10. It's Eckler again. And a pickup of about four down inside the 10 to the 8-yard line. But if you're going to have a relay race, you're probably going to pick your backs and receivers to run it, but don't underestimate the conditioning of the offensive line. They're out there just dictating things, staying on the field, and keeping a long drive going. Second and six coming up. Working out of the gun, Daniels. Now he's got it. And the commanders are looking at first and goal as he's tackled all the way down at the two-yard line. So it's Washington with the football here as we welcome you back. They come up on a first and goal with this game still hanging in the balance. Here we go. First and goal. Robinson trying to get to the goal line, but he's going to be stopped just short at the one. Good work there, holding them out on first down. And this is going to be a battle down here on the goal line. Can they hold their ground for two, maybe even three more plays? Second and goal from the one. Back to throw. He's got it. Touchdown, Commanders. Zach Ertz, a one-yard touchdown reception. And the Commanders have taken a fourth-quarter lead. Those are the types of plays in these moments they were hoping for from this young rookie, able to put him up here in the fourth quarter. How about the kid? You just mentioned it. The fourth quarter. This is when you have to make those winning plays. That's what he just did. Doesn't ensure anything, but he certainly gave his team a heck of a chance, didn't he? Important extra point up and through, and that will make this a four-point game. So that one a long 11-play drive. And it ends with a Zach Ertz touchdown. Following the touchdown, here's Seibert now to kick it off. Breaks through the contact. And a decent return out to the 27-yard line. Kyler Murray now in the Cardinal offense. Down 31-27. Less than 90 seconds to go. 
They need a touchdown. A field goal is worthless now as they come up on first and ten. Now Murray. Screen pass to Connor. But they picked up a little bit of yardage there, and now, in this situation, should be in no hurry to run a play really fast. Let the clock wind down. Another try, second and ten now. Murray to throw. That's caught by Wilson, and he's going to get out of bounds with the first down, so that's going to double their pleasure for sure. They get the first and save a timeout. Well, they got the yardage they needed there, picked up the first down, got out of bounds. How about the urgency that they have, as well as the understanding where they are in the field? All three timeouts still at their disposal. Here's first and ten now. To throw is Murray. He's going to let this go. Back of the end zone. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. I like the thought process there. They connected on a big play, and sometimes you find the defense vulnerable. So they went for the bigger shot, went for it all on that one. This time, they were ready for it. Just over 50 seconds remain. Here's second and ten. Back to throw, Murray. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Back-to-back -back incompletions, but we know this is definitely four-down territory. Time not on their side. I don't think they want to try and get the first down in two installments. I think they got to go and get it right here, right now. And now a tough spot here. This is third and ten. Back to throw. And he can't get a throw away. He's taken down. A loss of three on the sack made by multiple defenders. Brandon, that's just football 101. If you're out of the pocket, you've got to get rid of the football in this situation. You cannot take a sack in a two-minute drill. The decision made for them. They've got to go. It's fourth down. He lets this one fly toward the back of the end zone. Oh, and that's going to sabotage their comeback plans. It is intercepted. Jeremy Chin picks it off. And the Commanders have just about sewn up this football game. Well, they tried to take their shot right there, but the ball hung up a little too long, and it's intercepted. And when you describe trying to take their shot right there, usually the ball has to be thrown on a little bit more of a line. You just mentioned it. The ball hung up there. The reaction time of the defenders, they win the day and intercept it. The Washington offense at the line and ready to roll. And three timeouts remaining here defensively, but really not much reason to use them at this point as this one is all but over. If they use the timeouts here, it's strictly for show. We got a plane to catch. Now second and seven from the 23. He's going to get it again. Just looking to get forward and protect the ball. And a timeout comes in. The whistles blow with three seconds remaining. Washington about to close this one out as they are down to a knee. The Cardinals forced to burn their third and final timeout. And as the two teams talk it over on their respective sidelines, we take a break. The 
They'll run for it with Eckler. And he'll take this for a short gain on what will prove to be the final play of this ball game. Well, this was a very close ball game at halftime, Charles, but in the second half, that offense kind of kicked things into another gear, and they were able to pull away for the victory. And Brandon, I think they're the type of team that just looked in the mirror and said, hey, ton of pressure on, but we're the type of team that can flat out handle it. They stood up, stood up with confidence, and made it happen for a victory. So that'll just about do it for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, log on to easports.com. With that, we say so long and sign off from the desert.